Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Warren Pacific Admiral's Edition, as we continue with the Rise and Sun. So, there's a few things I want to be discussing, which has been brought up in the comments, and something that was a bit of an oversight for me was ship conversions and leadership. Basically, if we take a look at, uh, let's see, uh, these forces over here. So, we're going to take a look at the 20th Reconnaissance Regiment. So, we can see here that they're led by Colonel uh, Kujiro. And we can see his statistics here. So, 48 leadership, 40 inspiration, his rank, how many points it would cost, his administration, and aggressiveness. Suited for rear area. Just rather interesting, actually, that we do have these sorts of... Um, very, very interesting. Okay. I like this. I really do like this. Uh, Colonel Kojiro Kojuro is known to be a promising and aggressive officer. So that's very handy to know. What's up there, Carl? How you doing, my dude? So yes, this is something that we do have to bear into consideration. So he is a promising, aggressive commander. Now, we would like to have this reconnaissance regiment actually signed to China, where it will be of far more use. I mean, the fact that we have the... Uh, I mean, there's only a few tankettes in here, which aren't exactly amazing, but still, there's some armor. Uh, 42 vehicles in total. Uh, motorized squad, cavalry, heavy machine guns, AT guns, 97 tankettes. Not much. Let me actually here. Show units table of equipment. Hmm. Okay. Right. Generals, <laughs> indeed. Well, to be fair, we can do this with both, uh, well, with land forces, air forces, and, of course, naval forces. Now, I was doing a little bit more thinking about this as well. Let's uh, take a look, at, actually, at Kidabutai. So we can see here the name, the carrier aircraft, float planes, etc. We can also see here the commander, uh, Nugumo. Which is rather interesting. We find the commander. Yeah, combined fleet. I'm trying to remember... Was he... In the... Right, that is... Jiro. Okay. Uh, I do believe we can change out the actual commander here. I think we'd have to be potentially in port. I'm not so familiar with leaders, I'm not going to lie, as it's um, not something I've really taken much look at, well, much of a look at in the past. So it's something that we're going to be learning about more and more as we continue. I was also thinking here as well, uh, do, we can, do we create a smaller task force to deal with this? Do we um, go for a concentrated attack against this? Uh, though what I've been thinking here is we are set to remain on station, so our task force will not retreat. So what I was thinking to do is, in fact, change the mission by having them head further south. Uh, the reasoning being, we'll intercept the forces around here. We also need the oilers to come by, so we need them to remain on station. They cannot retire. And we're going to have them head south. We need them to be somewhat near Kidabutai so we can make use of them. Uh, the idea here is we'll have Kidabutai on a naval strike mission. And basically they're going to mop up what might be in the area. We are still looking for the American carriers. Uh, which is going to be fantastic if we can find them. So if, let's bring up the hotkey here. So we have six. So six brings up all the differences here. All the different uh, patrol patterns. Right, so you're leaving here, which we do not want. We want you to change this. Okay, so this is the Midget Submarine Carrier. No, this is a sub uh, the Midget Sub itself. Okay, uh, do German submarines come later on from, you know, Germany? Uh, I don't believe so. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know if that one's taken into account. So yes, that's obviously going to return. Uh, let's take a look here. Should we spread out the search patterns? That might be a good idea, potentially. Uh, so let's expand the search zones, try and move these subs around a little bit further. The idea here is to keep spreading out. We know that they're going to be somewhere around here, and we need to figure that one. 
checks out if they have larger ports. Indeed, they do. Uh, to be honest, it's one of those things where they only have a few areas where they could potentially go. We've identified, obviously, Pearl Harbor is one where they could be uh, based. <laughs> I doubt it, though, as obviously we have attacked the... We have a relatively decent idea of what is in port at Pearl Harbor, and definitely no carriers. Uh, so then that leaves them with a few other choices. Really, they're going to have to head over here to Sydney, potentially. Uh, port capacity could handle a CV. Uh, potentially Melbourne. Okay. Singapore, of course. In the Philippines, I'm not confident that there is a port large enough. No, Manila is a large port, but it wouldn't be able to handle that. How about Batavia? Batavia, possibly, possibly. Okay. And then, of course, the other way would be Los Angeles, San Diego, just San Francisco. Basically, a number of ports on the American coastline would be able to definitely handle her. So, either way, she's got to go this way or she's got to go that way. There's not much else. Obviously, she could also go that way. Uh, but I doubt it. So, we've had a single... Well, we've had some time pass here. We're in, we're in December 9th now, which means some time has passed. So, let's estimate... I'm going to go ahead and um, assume 30 knots average speed. She might be out by Johnson Island, or perhaps a little bit further than Johnson Island. Or possibly around this area here. Right, so those submarines obviously on their way out that way. So I think what we'll do then is we'll expand the uh, search web. I don't think there's much point to search towards the south. I think what we need to do then is search towards the east, if I'm completely honest. We need to find her. We'll search to the south a little bit, basically have subs heading in each of these directions, and we might get very, very lucky. But we're expanding the search web. Idea here is the more directions we cover, the better. How did you take Guam? Guam will fall soon enough. Right, keep patrolling this area. Basically, we'll have subs uh, further away heading around here. So we've spread out that search pattern a little bit further. What we could do here is take some of these sub patrols. Okay, since they're given a destination, so what we need to do is cancel that destination. Sub there, Lorenzo. How you doing, my dude? Okay. Yeah, you need to stop that. There we go. We'll explore around this area here. Sub Snake, how you doing, my dude? Hmm, seems like they weren't given correct orders. That could have cost us. Hong Kong should be taken before they dig in. Uh, Hong Kong is going to fall in time. Troops are already on their way. I'm going to actually take a look at the commander of a uh, force assigned to Hong Kong. We'll see if we can improve there on the situation. We'll also take a look around and just see really what we can improve upon. Uh, we also do need to go to Manchuria. We need to basically go through all of our air squadrons and make sure every single one of them is training. Uh, we need the, we need a hell of a lot of pilots training. Pretty much all times. What's up, Tuka? How you doing there, my dude? Thank you to you for your suggestion last time, which actually resulted in us being able to uh, hit Pearl Harbor as we wanted to. I kind of regret not setting these orders correctly. This is what happens when you try to rush. Normally these turns can take much, much longer. Rightfully so, as you can miss things quite easily. Okay. So spreading this web out. I'd like to cover more to the south, actually, of Pearl Harbor. And to the north, too. Basically, cover the area. I 
I don't want to be too close to Pearl Harbor. There we go. Right, so we're going to be covering uh, areas further out from Pearl Harbor now. Uh, let's see, do we have any float planes here? Uh, float planes would be really nice, actually. Let's see. Uh, we do have a float plane. Very, very useful. I-19 uh, as well, fantastic news. I-21 as well, yep. So we do have search planes in this area, so that's great to see. Right, uh, Hong Kong should fall easily, pretty true. This is really fun, to be honest. It's just so interesting. I wonder if the game takes into account the breaking off uh, the Japanese never called. Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, I wonder, have you read either the two volumes of Rikugan? I've not heard of that. I've got Kaigen. Um, bloody hell, do I have it here? Just be a moment. I'm just going to go grab it. Two seconds. Okay, so it seems like I forgot where I put Kaigen. I believe it's in uh, some box somewhere. Uh, would you recommend those uh, books? I'd be very interested to see what they're like if they're recommended. Okay, so uh, we've rearranged the submarines around Pearl Harbor. I'll just double check that I can't change any squadrons. Sorry, task force commanders. Yes, uh, let's see. Right. Yamaguchi. And find um, the best leaders here. Hmm. Some decent commanders. Need to try and keep them alive, really. Right, so let's just check on this mission again. So we're set to air combat. Okay, let's check on the missions of the actual forces here. So, naval attack, okay. Uh, so, if they don't naval attack, we could set up another port attack. I think that could be a good idea to do. So, if they do not naval attack, we'll once again hit Pearl Harbor. I think that'd be a wise idea. Okay. Next group is, of course, using the torpedoes. So, we're going to again set them to Pearl Harbor. There we go. We're just going to make sure everything's working with the torpedoes here. So set all carriers. Yep, there we go. Right. Set to Pearl Harbor. Good. And um, they're using torpedoes. Fantastic news. Uh, so what we're going to do here then is we'll perform some naval attacks from the air. We obviously do have the surface fleet. If there's anything here, we probably should be absolutely fine. I mean, we do have two battleships. We do have uh, two heavy cruisers, a light cruiser, a couple of destroyers. We should be well, well, well okay. Okay, the Kukan looks at the Imperial Japanese Army and the Naval Ground Forces one and one's organization. Such volunteers looking at their arms and equipment. Ah, actually really interesting. I'll have to take a look at that one though. Just look at all the uh, activity around Japan here. Right then. Uh, so, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at land-based air. Okay. So we need to change a lot of these to training. Okay. What's up, Daniel? How you doing, my dude? So we're going to take a look then is at where these uh, where these forces are okay china expedition force it does make sense for the forces in china to obviously be active uh, so we'll take a look at the forces in uh, manchuria okay this force here i could have them on naval search which is probably a very good idea as they're going to be looking for submarines Around the Sea of Japan and obviously the Yellow Sea, uh, East China Sea, that sort of area. 
Okay, both there training. Uh, what are they training in? These guys, airfield attack. Uh, what we need to do then is we need to have groups always training in different uh, matters, really. So let's see. These guys are training in airfield attack. I wish I could mark things on the map. That'd be very nice. What do we have over here then? So plenty of training going on here. Uh, so we have fighters, level bombers, reconnaissance. These are training in airfield attack. What we're going to do is we're going to have them train in naval attack. Have this as a group for the naval attack. Let's just take a look at the pilots here. What's their experience like? Yeah, quite low. Ground bombing is pretty good, actually. I suppose we could make this a ground bombing group, then. So, ground attack. Then what we can do is we can train further forces in the fields of the other bases towards different roles, like naval attack. So, escort. Escort. Uh, we could do, we're having some forces training for sweep, so we'll have these guys switch over to sweep. Uh, these level bombers, airfield attack, we'll have them change over to naval attack. Right, training. See more on escort. Naval attack. Could do with some more level bombers, squadrons training in anti submarine warfare. There we go. Yep, more transport planes over here. Fantastic news. Plenty of those guys. Right, we've got naval attack, ground attack. SW will go with the port attack then. Let's see if I said them right. Yeah, 40, okay. Right, naval attack. Okay, so those are the forces in Manchuria that we can set to training. Obviously, we've tailored that training a little bit further. Okay, Hong Kong is easy picking sure. Be sure to bomb its ports to disable a few destroyers in there. They could become annoying as your supply lines. That's a very good point, actually. Uh, to be fair, let's take a look. So we do have these forces over here that suffered quite horrendously. Uh, so we're going to have them remain on station. We're going to change their destination from, instead of uh, Babel... Babel... Babel Dua, Dua, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce these names. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to change that from there. We're going to have their home port set to, uh, let's see, uh, Kyoto, perhaps. Um, hmm. We'll go to uh, Yoka, no, actually, no, it would make a lot more sense for them potentially to head over here to Takao. Uh, so we'll head to, let's see, port capacity 4. I need a decent port, actually. Okay. Bad shipyard over there, too. Right. Head to Nagasaki. Uh, what was required for the Chinese to capitulate? Uh, they don't really capitulate as such. You will kind of have to conquer them. Uh, we can crush them by basically cutting off the Burma Road. Uh, so, this road here, we need to cut this off. If we cut that off, which is obviously bringing all, uh, it's bringing a good amount of supplies each turn in, which is keeping the Chinese going pretty much. Uh, if we cut this off, they're going to suffer horrendously. To be fair, it'll get to a point where there's just no threat anyway. Uh, we just need to seize a lot of the Chinese industry. Uh, heavy industry does go towards the actual cap across all all the uh, um, conquered territories as well, so that's pretty good news, which we're always going to have to make much use of. Okay, so, right, what was I just doing? <laughs> I kind of forgot what I was doing there. Right, anyway. So we have our forces moving out over here. Let's check on the distances moved. 13, right, okay, so these are the guys who moved as they were in actual move mode. So we need these other guys to catch up. Okay, let's see. Can we have an overall commander? 
Right, that'd obviously be the headquarters, which is the Southern Army. We'll go by the most powerful force. So the 38th Division. Lieutenant General Sano Tadayoshi. If you preserve the port in Hong Kong, it can be good for another front on China. Very true. You can take their capital so they won't get any troops, but other than that, you need to take all their bases, pretty much. Okay, so, Tadayoshi. Sold headquarters. Hmm. Okay. There are some better commanders. Yamada's leadership is very good. Inspiration is pretty good. Though Tadayoshi has a great amount of inspiration, which is quite nice. This is more balanced, but that inspiration is very, very high. It's a significant difference. Hmm. The... Land rating isn't that much a difference. Administrative is actually better for Tadayoshi. Aggression is only slightly less. So we'll keep him as the commander of the 38th Division. He's actually a fair commander. Okay. The 66th Infantry Regiment. Okay. Adekai. Adekai. 70-72. Very nice, actually. He's a colonel. Uh, his land's actually very good. He's actually a very good commander. We need to take a note of this guy. That's really nice. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll bear that in mind, then. Awesome. Let's see, what do we have here, then? So we have the 104th Division. We have the 23rd Army, too. Let's see. Commander Kuichi. Turn General. Not a bad commander, actually. As the Japanese... As the West... Uh, the rest of China is a desert, you can write a classic of how the West was won, where Samurai fought with Mongol cavalry to defeat the false Chinese emperors. <laughs> okay, I'm liking the look of these commanders. Uh, we do need to use these forces from Canton to defeat the forces in the surrounding area. Uh, so let's take a look here. We are using these uh, flights to actually hit Hong Kong. To be fair, I'm going to use the forces from Formosa, basically Taiwan, to hit Hong Kong once these land forces are actually here. Basically make them far more useful. Uh, we did win a battle over here. We are going to be pursuing the enemy. Uh, though we'd have to basically go for a shock across... Uh, a shock... Ah! A shock attack across the river. That's always the better move. Still, they've got some time to move there. It's going to take them a little while. It might make uh, more sense for me to cross over to this hex. Then again, there's no good hex. I'd have to cross here to here, assuming that this force doesn't move. So perhaps we might be better off cancelling this move and use a strategic move, which is now available, which is going to take us three days, to be fair. So let's see. Using a strategic manoeuvre, uh, we could manoeuvre to maybe here, maybe here. Uh, these Chinese forces are actually moving potentially to Huainan or Luzhou. I can't be certain which way they're going. Or we could actually keep them in place for the moment of time, which isn't a bad idea. Uh, we also do need to have these uh, troops on training as well. So we could set them to rest and train for the time being. That works for me. Right. Okay. Uh, so we do have a few extra forces over here. Uh, the 19th and the 26th could actually get us in this area. Actually, no. The 19th alone would be in its sufficient garrison. Uh, the 27th and 26th could be left here. Uh, to their own devices and go after Chinese forces. 
So let's see, uh, the numbers aren't great, however. I could use them for garrisons elsewhere to free up better troops. Like, let's see here, we have a SNLF force, as well as a 28th. There's actually no garrison, ah, uh, no, yes, that is garrison climate, okay. Okay, what we could do then is actually move some of these forces. And then we'd be able to free up that SLNF force, which is great news. Uh, so I think we'll do that then. Okay, so we need the 27th and the 26th. That'll free up these SLNF forces, which we could use elsewhere. Which would be very, very nice. Actually, they need to stay here, so rest training. Move to the south. That's great news. Those uh, SNLF forces could then be used elsewhere, which would be great. Okay, so we have 15th Division. Obviously well over the garrison capacity, well, garrison requirement, I should say. I could leave these forces here. The 15th Division could be moved out. Sakai Noji. Hmm. So we need a Lieutenant General. I wish I could see whether these forces were actually already in command of anywhere. Well, we have rear area. Hmm. Let's see. Right, I'm trying to wonder where we'd find the leaders listed. Right, so that's just a database. Can I see if a unit is assigned or not? So I can't, I, well, can't see leaders here. Hmm. Now we could take a look here. Morale is actually quite low for these forces. That's something to really bear in mind, actually. So the most motivated uh, forces in Singora. As these are forces that are in uh, naval invasions. Uh, let's take a look at the low motivation units. Yeah, so the temporary uh, foreign forces, basically. Right, we can really see that. <laughs> no, that'd be nice. Okay. Hmm. Right, so these forces are at home. It doesn't mean that we can't have them on rest and training. Would make a lot of sense, to be fair. We aren't exactly expecting an attack right now, are we? It means that we could actually have commanders of these forces uh, transferred elsewhere, which is quite good. Yeah. 
That's good to know. We'll uh, use this then to train up commanders for China and elsewhere then. Okay, I'm going to keep them busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Northern Army HQ. Okay. And we do have engineers here. Now we some training. That'd be moved out. In the future, we will take them off the rest of training, but for the time being, we could have them on that. I think that'll work out fine, to be fair. Special forces around Tokyo um, could have. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll have these guys on rest and training. I suppose we'll go for larger units then. Okay. That's definitely a force we want training. Yeah, the 54th Division, definitely. 53rd. And 4th Division. The 64th. Okay, we'll just go for large formations then. Hmm. Headquarters. Right, the 33rd Division. Okay, so that's decent. Probably not the best way something has been done in one of the Pacific. Uh, but this is something I'm quite new to, something I'm quite interested in actually uh, improving upon. So that's uh, it's a good start. We'll go with that, really. Could have a lot of the actual forces in Manchuria chain in two, that's a good point. Uh, let's take a look at what we actually have in uh, Manchuria then. We obviously do need to have some forces transferred to different commands, uh, like the China Expeditionary Force. So what we can do is we can take a look at the forces that are actually moving out and have them transfer commands, uh, like these engineers. So we'll have them, well, the uh, K1, K1 Tung army, uh, we'll have them transferred to the, let's see, who commands in this area over here? I wish I could have like a hotkey to show like the different uh, areas under different commands. So you're attached to the Northern uh, 12th Army, which is under the China Expeditionary Army. Okay, we'll go for the China Expeditionary Army. Any plans for Alaska? That's a good point, actually. Uh, we do have the Bering Sea and the Aleutian Islands. Uh, Aleutian Islands. Ooh, let's see. Capacity is what we have to look for. I mean, that's pretty good Dutch Harbour. I'd like to try and draw some forces away so we could actually take uh, control of the Lucian Islands. That would be quite nice. I mean, it's like... It would be difficult to neutralise Alaska due to just the lack of troops. Like, I imagine Anchorage would be difficult. I don't imagine that would fall. 
And just the fact that they can obviously move troops up there. It will take time, but they'll eventually be able to move troops that we cannot defeat. Uh, so if we can go for the Lucian Islands, that'd be quite decent. So basically, say control of this. Uh, reduce the base close to Japan, actually, because that is going to be used by the Allies for basically uh, submarine, uh, submarine attacks. Okay. I'm going to see if I can find any extra naval assets that we can have moved. Uh, the Kiso could be moved. What is the speed of the Kiso? Speed's good. Uh, crude speed is... Eh. Let's compare that to... Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that'll go nicely. So the Kiso can head over there. Actually, they're heading to Nagasaki, aren't they? So we'll have you head out to meet them. That'll do nicely. Her endurance isn't amazing, but she's there for basically AA. And just extra naval guns. Okay, so we have a few <laughs> battleships, some escort carrier, well, the escort carrier Hosho and the light carrier Zuiho. So we need to look at what we can do here. Okay. So they're on training at the moment for escort, which also does make a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kodiak is where you want to take. Okay, let's see when do we receive a, another group of zeros. Mm-hmm. We need more zeros. But that's still not bad. So we'll put this force together. And Yoda would be quite handy, to be fair. There we go, we're going to put together a formidable force. Right now we can change the actual commander of the task force in port. That's good to know. It's very aggressive, actually. Ah, his leadership isn't as good. He's quite inspirational. Air is really what I want to be taking a look at. Imaguchi. I wish I could see where they if they were assigned already, that'd be exceptionally useful. Best qualified is a surface fleet commander. Okay. Either way we're gonna have you change your home port to Nagasaki. And you're gonna head out to Nagasaki. We'll put together a task force that will really help with uh, clearing up the Gulf of Siam. Basically, we can look at the Java Sea then. Uh, the idea being we do have a bunch of invasion forces over at Formosa, uh, which we can have set up. Let's see, Formosa, look for the task forces. Yeah, here we go. Uh, these guys are ready to go. I'd rather speed up the invasion of the Dutch East Indies, though. I'd like to go for these landmasses. 
The reason being I want to get access to that oil. Ah, uh, yeah, Sumatra, that's the name of that landmass. I was, uh, I forgot about that. Uh, yes, I'd like to actually speed up the invasion of Sumatra and Malaya. Uh, Malaya is going to be rather interesting. We do have our forces over here, which we need to actually have on the attack. So, let's see what they're dealing with. Uh, this is what's going to be interesting. So, 8,708 troops. Um, okay. Uh, deliberate attack. Right. Set on defense. Let's see. We do have the Congo and the Hiruna. Good, good task force there. Right, so they're still unloading. We need to put these guys to C. Okay, AA could be better, but that's not too bad. Hmm. What I'm thinking is trying to intercept allied ships around this area here. This is the area we're not covering. Uh, we could do actually getting some mine lane warfare out. Alright. We could potentially engage over here. But we don't want to head any closer towards these um, bombers, actually. Uh, what we're going to do then is going to actually move them out. So we'll have them move by a safer uh, route. Basically, we're going to have them head towards um, the area around Brunei, in essence. Hmm, actually, uh, a more northerly path. Okay, notice that they're going to stay nearer to the north. That's good. Okay, Megami, Makuma. Right, same again. The idea here is going to be gathering our naval assets, assets sorry, uh, so that we can actually set up the invasions. Apologies about my speech. A little bit tired, which is obviously going to make a lot more sense when you think about it. Oh uh, well, I've got to get streaming while I have the time. Okay, so our invasion forces are still unloading. Uh, we do have a few destroyers over here, which could be used to patrol the area here. Uh, though I'd like them to stay there for the time being, as they do obviously present some AA capability. Okay, we need to have these forces ordered to move ASAP, so we have our forces at Batani. Um, okay, are we still unloading? That's something we have to take into consideration. Yep, still unloading troops, so once those troops are unloaded, we'll go. As soon as they're unloaded, we'll go. Okay, there's no troops aboard here. This is only fuel and supply, so we're good to go here. Uh, so we need to take into consideration the garrison, which is zero at the moment. And we'll get moving. Well, we're dealing with here. Good amount of troops in the north. Hmm. I think we'll send these forces to the north, to be honest. Right. They're there really for just holding it more than anything. Okay, so we're going to have them start to prepare. Hmm. I would like them to head for Victoria Point. So let's see, can you strategically move over here? Uh, you can, which is fantastic, so I'm going to have them strategically move. Hmm. Let's see. So then, Nicholas, how you doing, my dude? No, we're going to have you actually stay here. That made more sense. 
the AA can move. Do obviously need to protect this area. So we'll start planning for Victoria Point to fall. Uh, these forces over here. Right. We'll wait for them to finish unloading. Okay, looks like the armor's still being unloaded. Yep, yeah, armor. Yes, yeah, so it looks as though it's only armor that's been unloaded here at St. Gorda. Uh, so that means our infantry is free to move. Excellent, excellent news. Let's see. Okay, what's your favorite color, actually? actually? Uh, purple. I like purple. Right. Future objective is going to be a low star. Start then moving. Not many troops there, so we can do that. Have the artillery move there too. In fairness, right, so I still have this infantry regiment, and we still have a naval guard. Uh, what is the garrison requirement of this base? Uh, hmm. Not seen a garrison requirement, which is really nice. Yeah, it is indeed a regal colour. It's a very lovely colour. Okay. Right. So not seeing a garrison requirement here. Yeah, that's fantastic. That means that we can move everything. Uh, so we've got the artillery regiment moving out. Uh, what we're going to do then is take a look here. Do we use these engineers to build up the air base? I think it's a good idea. Um, let's see, yeah, we'll start to expand the actual airfield here. Presents a good, good base. Uh, to be fair, it will allow us to control the Strait of Malacca and obviously protect the Gulf of Siam too. Uh, so we'll keep building up Sagora as it is a good location. So the engineers will remain here. The 41st Regiment is going to move. Now we can move strategically to Kotobaru, but that's going to take time. So what we're going to do then is we're going to start to plan. Start to plan. We need to move very, very quickly. But these forces will move once we're ready. Right, engineers will remain here. For the time being, we'll set these objectives. Then once they're ready, they will move strategically to Kotoburu, or as far as we can go, and then we'll travel there. So that's going to make things a lot quicker. Uh, so these forces are ready to move. These forces are still unloading. Those forces are moving. Not many forces here to really make use of. Unloading. Now forces of Bangkok. Mm, garrison requirement is up there. So we need some extra forces to garrison Bangkok. Uh, we do have some forces moving. Imperial Guard Division. Uh, strategically move to Bangkok. Hmm. Uh, what custom map skin are you using? Oh, God. Um... Right, I'm trying to remember what it's called now. Uh, just one second, I'll bring it up. It is. Bum, 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 bum. I'll find it. 
And then I'll post it in the actual chat for you. Where are we? Hmm. Ah, here we go. So it is Yamato Demeshi Demeshi by Kemkid. Superb, superb work. Incredible, incredibly good work. Uh, let's bring up the chat. Where'd I put it? Oops. Uh, here we go. Okay, there we go. I'll post that in chat. There you go, my dude. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't... <sighs> See, this is the issue. It's like, do I actually want to move an Imperial Division out of here? No, not really. I'd be better off moving them neighborly, to be honest. I don't need to get us in as large as this, so what we can do here is we can have this move strategically. Uh, to be fair, we could have that strategically move all the way down here, to be honest. Uh, you're welcome. So we're going to have it strategically move to Singora. Let's see what else we have. Mountain guns. These are really, really good, actually. Uh, these can move to Bangkok. Obviously, we're going to be fighting in ill terrain, so that makes sense. Uh, the medium artillery can move down here to Zangora. Have them start planning for the attack on Singapore, basically. Yeah, I just reckon moving the division here would make a lot more sense. So start planning for that. I mean, you take a look at the fact that they were planning for a law start anyway does signify the fact that they were meant to be moved down here. So we'll have these forces strategically move, which can be very, very nice. Engineer Regiment. Ah, Engineer Regiment. We need this to really get some ports back up in action, and also speed up, obviously, the um, rate at which things are built. Uh, so we'll have them move to Singora too. Build up that airbase. Okay, so that's good. That's sorted. That's a lot of engineers. Hmm. Interesting. We'll use them in the future. Not many of the large forces in the moment, but the third RTA division is very nice. So strategically move. Now the RTA, uh, RTA division could be used very effectively over here. I think what we need to take a look at is really pushing towards this base here. Um, though, in all honesty, I'd like to do that via naval. That'd make a lot more sense. Obviously, this is going to require us to take Singapore, so if we can concentrate more assets in the fall of Singapore, I think that'd make a lot more sense. So we'll have these forces move down to Singora as well. There we go. Okay, so we have these forces here. This is just a border, not in fact a river. So what we're going to do then is we're going to have them move across to deal with these Chinese forces. Uh, that is probably able to handle that, at least tie them down, which is important. Let's see, so we have engineers. We need to get some forces over here, actually. Uh, let's see. Uh, we do have armoured. We do have a 65th Brigade. Okay. I reckon what we're going to do then is have the 65th Brigade loaded upon some ships. Okay, let's see if we can put together a force. Okay, load, uh, form new task force. 
Fast transport would be nice. Transport. Uh, let, mm. We'll go for fast trans uh, transport and see what we can handle. Hmm. Okay, that does make a lot of sense. So we're going to have to go with just a normal transport task force. Okay. Speed is really good here. Really good. Hmm. Low troops. Okay, so I think we're going to have to increase the amount of ships. Yeah, the 65th. Uh, so 600, uh, 6,930. So yeah, we're going to have to add more ships here. Transfer. Okay, yeah, we're going to need quite a few here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Test task force. Basically have them on dock. There we go. Now we can handle that. Uh, let's see about some escorts. Okay. Have some patrol boats in there. There we go. So we have our little task force here. Ah, uh, we need to talk, don't we? Hmm. Hmm. That's very true. Okay. I think what we'll do then is we'll have to put together a better force. Of transports, that is. I'd have to look around and find ships that are better for that task. Well, we could potentially take something else. Let's see. Right, so how much could we actually fit? 48,000 tons. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these patrol boats aren't exactly heavy. Still, adds up. Oh, 
What was the limit again? Maybe hey we'll dock with that then. Is there flotillas? Oh, they need to be in strategic mode, I forgot. Right now, there we go. What's we are missing here? Right, there we go. So we managed to add another two cargo ships there, so that's fine. We'll set that load and then we'll just take them piecemeal. That's fine. So we're going to be ready then. We can have some troops transported over here. We could even land a force over here at uh, Pokoi. Uh, it would be nice, actually, as that is the only Chinese base on the coast. So that's something to bear in mind. Uh, let's take a look. So, we do have level bombers, torpedo bombers, there are reconnaissance... Not many of them. Uh, what is the reconnaissance like of these uh, pilots? To be fair, I might as well have them in training. That'd make a lot of sense. Actually, ground attack. There we go. Can you use some forces from Canton? Yeah, three of them will do fine. Uh, let's do some reconnaissance over that base then. Need to find out some information there and see what we're dealing with really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Oh god, this uh, stream's been rather boring, hasn't it? <laughs> I apologise about that. We'll be able to get on with another turn shortly enough. We'll take a look at Manchuria then, see what we can really take from Manchuria. Mountain guns are very handy. Yeah, we could take the 11th Division. Probably going to have to change its command. Hmm. Nice, we already attached this army. And so I will have them rail out. So that's about, what was it, 400? Alright, these heavy guns are really good. Uh, we can take something from the Soviet border. We can take a little bit. Okay. I'd like to move these heavy guns. Oh, 
There we go. Set it all to follow. Yeah, we can take some artillery. Uh, we'll leave it to that division then for the time being, see really how we're doing afterwards and what we need. Artillery is going to be the most useful thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, I am using a graphics mod. I did post the link earlier, but I'll post it again so you can see my dude. There you go, go to that, and you'll find the mod I'm using here for the look of the map, which is superb. Uh, I could take these tank regiments, actually. I'd very much like to do that. Have them move via rail. There we go. Take the 14th division. Okay, and then we'll leave it about that. So that's about uh, probably around a thousand taken from Manchuria. So we could probably leave it that. We're still going to be a good level, but we don't want to take too, too much. Okay, so we've responded to the engagement around Pearl Harbor. Uh, let's check on our invasions. Right, so Guam. Yeah, it's the Guam invasions on the way. Okay, so we do have a few uh, search planes over here. Okay, our invasions down this way. Okay, so they're on escorts. So at the moment, what we can do is just have them untrained into be fair. Alright, these on search. Okay, you're heading to Nagasaki. That's cool. Ah, right, yes, we need you. Where are you heading? You're heading over here. Obviously, you're going to be heading over there to give those planes up. Uh, so what we're going to do then is we're going to have you move elsewhere to Nagasaki. There we go. Nagasaki instead. We're transporting... Ah, uh, I imagine you would be taking planes instead. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Right, so we're going to bring up the actual tracker. Here we have what we did last turn. Let's take a look at industry. So, what we need to take a look at is the fact that we're still limited very much by oil, fuel, uh, we need more resources. Resources, though, we do have a massive surplus. I'd say it's probably oil conversion. Now we need more of more refineries, more oil. So that's really our priority. Uh, we're also going to take a quick look and really sort of explore ship conversions. So ship classes, ship upgrades. That's what we're looking for. Conversions. Uh, so these babies could upgrade to light carriers, and that carrier is still going to hit by subs. Yeah, probably fine, to be fair. Okay. Hmm. There is a certain type I need to look for.
We'll look into this more in the future. Uh, but there is a class of cargo ship. I think it's... Is it a Toho? I don't know if it's a Toho. It's one of the uh, cargo class... Um, cargo classes that upgrades... or well, converts to a better... Better ship. So we'll have to find that. Uh, okay, so... Been a very... I suppose boring stream so far. But we've issued orders over this way. Uh, we've issued orders over this way too. Uh, there's not too much else I can do. And to be fair, I could actually have these uh, destroyers... If I did side leave them for AA cover, uh, that is true. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave them there for AA cover. These other forces will be moving out. We have things set up for the uh, patrol boats. Ah, right, yes, mining is going to be something that we're going to have to take a look at. So, let's see. Minefields. Japan. Ah, it tenders. This is what we need to look at. Oh, right, so I do have the Mutsu. Oh, Mutsu. So we're going to have her move. Uh, we'll transfer the... Nah, actually, not the torpedo boat. We're just going to have to move then. Hopefully she'll be lucky enough to make it. But she's going to move over to Nagasaki too. Okay, so do we not have any... Right, mine layers. This is what we want. Airstrikes near Singapore. Uh, we're not going to use airstrikes near Singapore. Actually, that's reminded me. I need to hold some uh, airstrikes against Clark's airfield in the Philippines. Uh, mostly because I'm going to be taking that airfield via land. I don't need to use them. Right, mine laying. Yeah, I'll do. So we'll maintain the minefield. Actually, I could lay a minefield around. I'd like to mine these areas, really. Oh, this area would be very nice to mine. Hmm. Actually. Hmm. I wish I could see the mines laid out on the map, actually. Okay, that made things a lot easier. Uh, we're just going to consider where to mine. It's like I could mine around uh, Tokyo, uh, that's for certain. Obviously, we do have to maintain that one, but I could have the other mining mine lane forces there maintain that. Um, hmm. I wish I could see mines. Okay. So the minefield around this area here, yeah, that's just in the harbour. Uh, we do need to maintain that. I'd like to lay mines uh, generally around here too. Okay. Uh, we do have mines around Fusan. Hmm. Actually, no, we'll have them... We'll have them build up the minefield, or potentially tend to the minefield around Tokyo. Though this area could be a lot smarter, Yokohama. Yeah, we'll tend to the area around Yokohama. That'll do nicely. So we have these other mine layers we're going to have sent out. Let's take a look at them. Yeah, mine laying. And we're going to have them sent... Um, I reckon to the north, really. If we protect this area via mines, that'd be really helpful. I mean, I'd love to actually mine this off here. The I yeah, I reckon I'm going to move these mine layers up this way. Uh, Put some mine mines down that way. We'll have them real fuel on the way. Uh, the reason, if I can mine this area here, it's like they could get through this gap here, but 
that's unlikely. Well, I, it's obviously further away and makes it more difficult. The idea is if I patrol the area, uh, the Tsushima Strait, mine these areas, I think we'll be have a lot better off. Okay. Mine around Port Arthur. Mm-hmm. Maintain those. No mine line capacity here. Awesome. Could lay some mines. Mine that area if I can. There's a small chance that uh, friendlies could hit these mines, but if we can have the area mined off, that'd be very nice. Okay, maintain the minefield around truck. The idea here as well is to make it um, unappetizing for the enemy to consider invading these areas. Canton 2. Shanghai needs a minefield. There we go. Okay. No mining capacity. Nice. Okay, let's maintain a minefield here. Make it very, very dangerous for enemy submarines to move around this area. Ah, no mine layers. Okay, lay mines around Kyoto. Lovely. Hmm. Mine Fusan. She needs a mine Shishima. See if we can find some uh, mine layers from Nagasaki. 
Yeah, we do have a few here. Fantastic. Uh, we'll have these guys mine Nagasaki. But we'll have the others that we can put together mine around Fusan. Shit. Well, okay. Around Shishima. Are you okay? This is great to watch as well. Write my Ubo essay. <laughs> There we go, mine here. Okay, you're offloading supplies. Right over. So, we've dealt with Blocked at leaders, um, invasions are underway. What's up there, Battle Moose? How you doing, my dude? Battle Moose, Battle Moose. Ah, Battle Moose! It's been a while, actually. It's been a while. I knew that name was familiar. So, yes, anyway. So, we've looked at the mines for the moment in time. We've looked at leaders. We've looked at the uh, squadrons in training. We've set orders around Pearl Harbor. Ah. Um, Right, the Air Forces run Clark. We'll start with this attack for the moment in time. So just have them on training. Change one of these to training in the future. There we go. Right, that'll work out fine. So these invasions are going ahead. That's great news. I could do with maintaining a minefield around the cow, actually. Right, mine lane. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. Right, here we go. So I'm feeling somewhat confident in this, so we'll just give this a quick save. And we'll go ahead to the next turn. Be able to see what goes on, which should be awesome. There we go. Should have mission set up. That's good news. The idea is we're going to have these forces headed from Manchuria, basically meet up around this base. Around, well, around here, and then we'll have them sit forward. Uh, need to build up the momentum to really move this way. Hmm, Shushao. Yeah, Shushao uh, needs another garrison force. Yeah, we do need more garrisons in this area. I could have this garrison force move, so I will do that. So we'll have this force move to Suchao, which is going to help. Obviously we'll be able to move other forces over time and then work things out from there, but that's going to help out. Okay, okay. And then we'll look at leaders as well. Our forces are inbound on Hong Kong, which is great news. We'll go from there. Okay, so I think we're good to go. And end the phase. And into the 9th of December. Ideally, things will go well. I'm very interested to see what that uh, squadron of ships is near Pearl Harbor.
Okay. We are going to have to start looking at the transport ships when they arrive, forming them into proper squadrons. Uh, well, task forces, cargo convoys, really, are starting to go from there. Uh, we do have a bunch of uh, cargo ships within these different ports in China and just around, where they're not being used, but what we'll do then is we'll have them sent to, like, Tokyo, and, and I know bases around about there. Uh, but first we'll have them load up with resources, and then we'll disband them once they arrive in Japan. Basically get them out of the way, and um, have them not waste in fuel. But well, while they're moving, they can carry some resources, which is going to make it worthwhile. Okay, so we can see some surface naval units that were just on the north of the Philippines. And right next to our submarines, actually. Hopefully they can actually intercept. <laughs> Bomb New York with balloon bombs. <laughs> Black, please. The balloon bombs were really funny. It's like, yeah, they might have done some small damage if they were incredibly lucky. But they were just really not much point to them. There you go, forces are unloading. Right, we'll speed this turn up. You can see the web's a little bit poor around here. I'm hoping that we dealt deadly damage to the Prince of Wales and the Battle Cruiser Repulse. I think we did sink them both, supposedly. We'll find out over time. God, look at that weather. Okay, the 39, what have she found? Oh, no, that is a allied submarine, actually. Indeed. No damage, but we'll be able to train up in the future. And what we're going to have to start doing then is looking at our ASW missions, our task forces. And I really wish I could see who... Uh, well, which captains were uh, unassigned there is indeed such a thing. Either way, we'll look around. We'll see what we can find in terms of ASW missions. Uh, try to make the best of it. Right, so we've got the landers in a party and just to the north there too. That's good. We can start moving now. Light casualties. Okay. The important thing is that we get the uh, forces in Malaya moving ASAP. That's what we want. Ah, it's a really lovely graphical mod. Hmm. Let's see, our carriers have been spotted by the Allies, unsurprisingly. Right. Good casualties inflicted there, actually. This is what we want to see. We're going to concentrate on certain Chinese cores with our air power. Basically, try to smash them and disable them. Have land forces move in, i.e. divisions or something around that strength. Though it depends, really, if we can get some reconnaissance. Right, we did lose one of our planes here. Are you going to try and take Hawaii? Ooh, that'd be really nice. It would be really nice. Uh, do let me know if the audio is too loud. Uh, 
Okay, now this I'm interested in. Right, so they're going for Kidubutai, basically. These dollars are going to get ravaged. That I'm happy about. Yeah, so they lost the Dolness there. Good news. They don't have that many planes left there. Okay, a few more planes. Yeah, so they lost the Havoc, AP-26, and AP-40 Warhawk. And they did absolutely nothing. Okay, not wise. They're desperately trying to hit my carriers. Right, we need to take that base. Okay, that's very light on bombers. Hmm, what do we have here? This looks like a naval attack. Ah, oh, we have a heavy cruiser in Indianapolis. Hmm. Nice, we hit the Indianapolis. Okay, so we lost a zero for that. Uh, they lose two ships. Uh, the Indianapolis was hit by a bomb. Hmm. I wonder if I'm going to regret having them set to naval attack as well. Probably. But then again, that was a decent attack. Right, so they're going out here. They went for Haruna, no losses on either side. I'm wondering where that, um, there's a task force around here somewhere. Must find it. Hmm. Yeah. Why is that a superb, absolutely superb position? So the fact that it's already built up to begin with, it's you'd have to move some incredible forces out there. And you need a lot of time, a hell of a lot of time. To even attempt that really. Yeah. Let's see, what do we have here? Vampire. I doubt we're gonna get any hits there. Yeah, really not worthwhile. At least we do know that there's actually destroyers there. I wish you could cancel raid during this time. I didn't think the would be so good to go and raid out by Singapore, but apparently so. No losses either side. Havoc's approaching. And they lost another Havoc. That was really good news. Right, now this is much more like it. So this seems to be an actual attack on Pearl Harbor itself. This is looking nice. I mean, just look at the amount of actual planes they have to respond now. They've lost a few by attempting to hit Kidubutai. Uh, Kido That's going to hurt them. Okay, we'll skip this. All right, Indianapolis. Interesting, it's only a single Kate. Oh, West Virginia. Hmm. Okay, we'll skip this, see what the results are. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all, actually. 
And right there we go, the West Virginia has been hit a further four times. I've not seen any torpedo use, so I'm going to assume that either their bug is making itself known again, or we're just out of torpedoes. Uh, we will have to retire soon enough. Uh, day two, yeah, this is the third strike on Pearl Harbor, to be fair. Uh, so we've inflicted even further damage on the West Virginia, Oklahoma, Maryland, Tennessee, California, Arizona. Uh, we've hit the auxiliary vessel Curtis, which is nice. Uh, the Indianapolis got hit by a bomb, so decent. Uh, we'll take a look at the actual results here then, shall we? Um, okay. Either way, this is looking nice. Few hits. The Oklahoma has been hit hard. West Virginia has been hit hard. Tennessee has been hit hard. We did inflict further damage to the actual port facilities, which is always nice too. It's going to slow down repair. But I do think we are going to retire now after that third strike. We do have to go and replenish our resources. And also, I can't afford to keep losing planes. And pilots. Really, pilots more than anything. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, the Liberty. Hit but no explosion. Very poor result there. Right, here we go with the invasion of Wake Island. So we get hit twice there by the defensive guns. Okay. Uh, it seems like no torpedoes were used, which then again is either the bug that we experienced in one of the last sessions or it may be the lack of torpedoes in general. We'll have to see. There we go, looking good. Edge uh, of a lot of pilots in training. Yeah, we put a lot of pilots into training in Manchuria and also Japan. Elsewhere too. I could put more in for most, to be fair. Yeah, it does seem like it is the bug again. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to assume the bug, because it is rather odd that no torpedo was used. I would imagine we'd have torpedoes remaining. I mean, I'm probably sure we could keep on hitting Pearl Harbor for a week at most. Ooh. Mm, that was not a good result there. Okay, here we go with the land phase. And once they are moving strategically, they do move pretty quickly. Yeah, that's very true. Build a plane in a few days, pilot takes years. I wouldn't be too shocked if we are sinking some ships here. I will check on the uh, stock level of Kiributai. I mean, in fairness, we could keep up the attack by using bombs. Okay, that 8th Indian Brigade has been something of a problem. Just need to keep reducing those modifications. Ah, there we go, we actually captured a cutter burrow. There we go, we forced them to retreat. And now the great news is we could actually have them strategically move now to a cutter burrow, which is going to save us a lot of time and really speed up the advance. I need to get the arm moving ASAP. Okay, now Wake is something of a difficult one here. Island invasions are very difficult. Uh, the Allies are far superior to this. You may want to prioritise getting all of your valves phased out, as they only carry a 1-250 gram bomb. Yeah, very true. Very, very true. Okay, shock attack at Tarawara. Oh, Tarawara. Tarawara. Oh, God, love that. <laughs> Might change that to ringtone. <laughs> yeah. Troop numbers are higher for the... Defending forces. Which isn't great for us. Gonna have to really bombard the enemy shit out of Wake. Bring in more supplies, bring in reinforcements too. Okay. I 
Again, no carrier spotted. We've not been very lucky. In the first uh, series I did, I actually got very, very lucky and actually torpedoed one of the American carriers, which was fucking great. Really wish we could have had that again. The Marship sunk in Pearl, the less you have to fight later, but then again, it's a BB, not a carrier vessel. Very true. It would slow down the Americans' um, island hopping, really. I mean, those battleships are there, really, to uh, protect invasions, and they are formidable. Let's not forget that. They are formidable in their own right. <sighs> I'm going to assume that we probably missed some opportunity to get these carriers, unless we do decide to move Kitabutai in one or other way. Obviously, moving towards America isn't a very good idea. I mean, she might have retreated over this way, which would make sense as we don't have as much uh, going on this way. Uh, we do have the Liberty over here, potentially. Obviously, not a carrier. Would be nice to intercept them properly. We don't have much assets in the south here. That's interesting. That's very, very interesting. Now, this could be the American carrier. It could be. It could. Say they started somewhere around here, it might have been them. Hmm. Spilled a gun dam. Christ, you don't know how to use Japanese technology, definitely. Okay, so I think we're going to have a Kidabudai give chase, but let's check, uh, check on this. Okay, so... Hmm. Fatigue is starting to rise. How many planes are we looking at so far? In total, that is. 354. Is this MS mission stockpile, perhaps? Right, now, okay. What do you guys reckon? Do we launch another strike at Pearl Harbor? The airfield has received significant damage. There's supposedly 67 fighters there. 32 bombers. Auxiliaries increasing. Hmm. Whether that's true or not. We do also have to contend with Allied submarines in the area, which are a significant threat to our carriers. Apparently there's a tanker over that way. Okay. What do you guys reckon then? Do we stick by Pearl Harbor and keep hitting it? Or do we go for what could be very well the American carriers? Which is a massive possibility. In fairness, I'm going to concentrate air assets in the area against that if we can. Yeah, chase the carrier, otherwise call it a day. Very good, very good. You're only going to drop bombs on the battleships, which won't do any real damage, lose pirates. Yeah, that's a good point. We have inflicted some decent damage already. I mean, let's see, have we supposedly sunk in anything else? No. No. Supposedly we sent it to San Francisco. So, yeah, I'm going to happily retire Kiributai. You could tell your plans to drop bombs on... Yeah, that'd be very true. Yep, any chance it carries is definitely worthwhile. Uh, let's see. Mission speed. Crew speed. Full speed. Full speed is obviously going to drain fuel very quickly. It is going to use more speed as well. Sorry, more fuel as well. So we'll have them set to uh, mission speed. And we'll make for... Hmm... I'll make for truck. Or do I? See, I do have the oilers, so we could refuel on the way. So we'll head for Jaguars, uh, just in that general area anyway. Which may not station. Uh, we need our oilers to catch the hell up. Safer, uh, follow task force. 
They need to try to catch up. Uh, they're going to follow anyway, but they're going to follow in a safer method. So obviously as they move, they're going to move with them. Um, so we'll do that then. We're going to go on just naval attack rather than port attack. Need to spread out that fuel. Rest instead. Let's see if we can change this again. Naval attack. There we go. So they're going to rest. They're going to make all speed. And we're going to try and sink us some flat tops. But again, there is something else in this area. So we might even detect it as we move out of here. It could even be the carriers. I'm going to assume though... Oh god, let's, uh, let's bring up the drawing tool here. Let's see. So let's assume that the carriers were moving at 15 knots. So if we take a look here at Kiributai. That's mission speed. Cruise speed is what I want, sorry. Uh, so cruise speed. Is it cruise speed? Hmm. Seems like it's not just in... Hmm, okay. Right, we'll go for something else then as an example. Uh, let's go with these submarines and let's take a look at their speed. So speed 23. Crew speed's 15 though, which is what the average is for most anyway. So let's take a look then. So they can move... Uh, if you count this as one, so we'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... I'll count this as one. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, so we'll go with five. Let's see. I need to find the planning map, actually. Where is it? Where is it? In a momento. Hmm. I'll find it. I can't remember where it was now. I think I downloaded it, but I can't remember if I did. Okay. Just downloading that. I just want to... Have a look, basically. can try and plan things out, really. Mm, okay, not as I was expecting. I thought it would be just a... Uh... Actually, no, what? This could be actually what I was looking for. <laughs> uh, we'll see how this turns out. I thought it would be just an image, but apparently not. Again, not seeing any movement. Oh well. We'll look into that one later. Hmm. We'll just use the one from the planner then, I guess. Okay. So, this is obviously going to be a big, big guess. Uh, I don't know where the American carriers started, but let's say that they started somewhere out here. So we'll assume the Americans started here. Roughly in that area. I don't know. I don't know where it actually is, but we'll assume that. So, we'll go ahead and assume that they started making all speed to the east. 
So let's say uh, one, two, three, four, five. So they would be here by day two. One, two, three, four, five. Somewhere around about that area, maybe another hexon or something. Okay, so if they started around that area, they're going to be somewhere around Johnson Island. Now, what we're seeing here, what's this game about? Something like Hearts of Iron 4. It's what Hearts of Iron 4 wishes it was, let's be honest. So yeah, we're going to assume... Oops, getting rid of that. Ah, quit there. So yeah, we're going to assume that for those forces, if they are indeed the carriers... I'm somewhat suspecting they might be due to their presence over here. They would have had to be... Let's see... One, two, three, four, five... Well, actually, we can track it like this, can't we? Superb, superb. Bring that tool back up. Okay, so... Let's go with green. Do I have a green? We have a green. So this is where they ended up. So let's say one... Two, three, four, five. I don't know whether you count the hex that on or not, but I'm going to assume that you do. So, up there. One, two, one, two, three, four. I don't know, we'll just go with five, whatever. <laughs> uh. Right. So, 7th, 8th, 9th. Hmm. Yeah, if they did go at full speed, that would change things significantly. We can try to guess that one too. So let's take a look at... Well, we need something similar speed, like 30, 30 knots. So if we take a look... Uh, let's say this over here. Okay, full, full speed... So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That makes a lot of difference. Okay. Line this back up. Okay. So, let's assume that they moved at full speed. I should just do that a little bit better and less autistic. There you go, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So that would put them around Johnson Island, as we theorised. So it might have been that the Americans, it might even been that they moved up from this way, moved up from this way. We did see something up around this area here, which we do have to bear in mind. Now that was a small flotilla of ships as well. So the question is, is this the CV? Or up here, is this CV? Uh, that's a question we have to bear in mind, as we honestly don't know. We can theorise possible locations, that's very true. We can theorise. So let's say that the forces... Like, well, Johnson Island's round about here then. So if they move from here... That would make sense. It would make the most sense as obviously they're then trying to either make it down to Sydney or potentially to Batavia or Singapore. Singapore would probably be the best port for them to go to if it wasn't the Australian. But I'm going to assume that it is the Australian waters that they're heading for, uh, which is interesting. Basically, the Allies have a shield out to here at the moment. Not much in that area, but it is going to be dangerous for us to head that way. Um, our area of influence, I suppose you could say, is... Ooh. Well. So 
Something like that for the first line. For the second line, round about this region here. Uh, for the third line, obviously we do have the Marshall Islands and other islands. So I suppose our defensive forces really stretch out um, to round about there. Something like that. I know that looks like shit, but somewhere like that. Let's just say... Well, I don't know if that's a ship or an island, actually. I'm going to assume that it's probably an island. So something... Like that is what we have at the moment. Which is actually not too far away from <laughs> um, the actual drawings I've seen. So that's not too bad. Obviously what we need to do, which would be nice, is if we take Wake Island. If we could take Midway Island, that would be very interesting. Because then we'd be able to then go like that. Which would make a massive, massive difference. If we take uh, Raval, which is over here, we could go then... Like there and really start making him roads. There is an island over here that would be insanely good. If we could take the Horn Island, I think it's called Horn Island, uh, and basically mine the heaven little shit out of that, we would then make the allies have to go around like that. So you can imagine the journey being like that. That's a hell of a journey, or vice versa. So, yeah, that's very interesting. Uh, we're just going to take a look at China now. Uh, we're getting ready to really call this session to an end. But we have something to take into consideration. So China. Okay, so we had our victory here the last turn. You can see Chinese forces are moving here. Uh, we are moving our own forces, in all honesty. Uh, preparing a lot of them. Which is good news. Good news. Uh, these forces are being loaded upon these transports. As we speak, loading troops. Okay. We do have plenty of ships around here. Uh, we do have our landings here then. What are we facing in terms of opposition? I'm not seeing anything. Obviously we're going to be unloading troops at the moment. Uh, cancel unload. Right, unloading. Is there any troops on board? Uh, we do still have some troops here. The 14th. So it's only the 14th that we have to really take into consideration. So the 14th. Is the army headquarters okay? That means everything else is ready to go. We have no garrison requirements, so yeah, we can start making our way now. That's fantastic. Mm, it doesn't seem like there's any opposition. We do need to capture this base, but we should be able to capture that base and move on. Uh, it doesn't seem to be any opposition here, so we'll capture these bases automatically, basically. Uh, we do need to do with these troops here, so what we're going to do is we're going to have these forces from uh, Apadi uh, basically move on to blah, 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 blah. Uh, the Luzon area as quickly as possible. We'll have an invasion landing down here soon enough, which is good news. Um, our battleship is somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of transports moving here. A lot of them will arrive in the shorter range port soon enough. Uh, let's take a look at these over here. Supply. Oh, wait, are they loading supply or resources? So it looks like supply. I'm sure I told them to load resources, though. Uh, then again, I think those are resources, because it's like there's no option for resources here. I'm going to assume... Assume that these are resources. That I just... I'm sure I clicked resources, so I'm going to assume these are resources. Could make sense that it's displayed in orange. Okay... Okay. Right, yeah, so I believe this is where I'm going to call the session to an end. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you for watching. I uh, realize this has been something of a boring session. Uh, a little bit more boring than the other ones. Uh, we're, able to, we're able to get through turns a lot faster now, which is really nice. So we have potential evidence of flat tops from the Allied forces. Let's say this is probably the best bet. 
what we'll do in the following session really is set up the missions to try and deal with this bastard. To be fair, I could do that now and then at least I will not forget. So let's take a look at what we actually have available, which is not a huge amount. And in all fairness, if they do have any considerable forces, then again we do have uh, 24A5M force, which is thankfully fucking great now. Uh, using drop tanks, uh, range, not the best. Uh, but that should do, should do. We'll have their altitude at uh, 25,000 feet. I need their range out as much as possible, so one, two, uh, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So somewhere in this radius really is our mission range. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to assume that this is the ma uh, mission radius, so in fact we don't actually count the hex that the hex they're on. Okay, you boy. Uh, combat air patrol, yep, 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 yep. Uh, they're on escort. Okay, level bombers. Using torpedoes. Yep, naval attack. Okay, can't select any target. Uh, we'll put that altitude to um, 18, well, I'll put them to 20,000 feet, actually. Uh, it doesn't matter what altitude they're at, they should use their torpedoes as correctly. So we have just the one there on reconnaissance. Let's have a naval search. About 6,000 feet. Right, we have a few of these guys over here. Naval attack. Few of these guys. Only nine, but still have them using drop tanks. Give them that little bit more range. Ideally, that should make a difference. Okay, we need to divert these submarines, actually. We'll have them on a specific destination. Moving west. Oh, I don't believe you. I can make full speed, actually. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't seem I can do that. Hmm. I'm going to assume they're going to be heading south. So they'll head that way, and then they'll search around. Uh, these guys need to uh, uh, change their pattern. In that way. To fair, we'll have them head towards the Marshall Islands. Let's move at full speed. You can stay here. Well, move that way. Uh, the idea here is that we can try and um, intercept. Yeah, you missed the third attack, sadly. <laughs> okay, head south. Okay, this is the immediate sub. Okay, patrol that area. Okay, so we've set the missions up here that we can do. Let's just hope for the best. Uh, at least we have some naval missions set up, naval strike missions with planes. So it's like we might even lose a few bombers, but if we can get through, and fuck me, if we could actually haul an American carrier, that would be just, it'd be worth every sacrifice. Like, it is definitely worthwhile chucking planes at carriers. <laughs> if you can actually sink a carrier, you are causing immense, absolutely immense strategic damage there. So, we'll hope for the best. Uh, we'll hope for the absolute best here. So, thank you guys. So much for watching, I hope you do come back soon, and I hope to see you all again in the future. And sorry to plug it again, but if you would consider following uh, myself on YouTube by 
supporting me via uh, Patreon, PayPal, uh, pressing that like button, and subscribing if you're not, that'd be great. Commenting not always is good too. And until next time, goodbye. Have a great day or evening, whatever you are, whatever you're doing. Until next time, my guys. See you all later.